Welcome back to Franchise Football, everybody. I'm your host, Husker Eurocat, and tonight the Falcons start out Week 11 hosting the New England Patriots. It's been a short week to prepare for the Pats, and we can only hope that Turner Gill and the coaching staff have come up with a good plan to stop New England. The Falcons are coming off a three-game winning streak, the last of which was the most shocking to everyone, a 34-3 domination of the Dallas Cowboys in front of their home crowd. The Patriots are playing a seesaw season and now stand at 5-5. Five and five. But Cam Newton, along with a very solid run and pass attack, and a defense that should be able to give the Falcons plenty of challenges in a game that could take the Falcons to a 500 season after 10 games. Since the change at offensive and defensive coordinator before week eight against the Panthers, it's been all smiles in the Atlanta locker room. And can the Falcons keep the train rolling tonight against the Patriots? Let's find out as we take you to the action here on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Marvin Hall Jr.'s bat for the Patriots and Young Way Koo gets us underway here in Atlanta. Hall brings it out of the end zone and he is tackled at the 28 yard line where the Patriots will take over. Newton hands the ball off to James White and he's up the hash marks over the 35 yard line for a seven yard gain. Hand off again, Sony Michelle takes it for the first down and is finally tackled at the 42. That gives the Patriots their first first down of the evening. And now the handoff again, three runs in a row. Sony Michelle takes it up the middle to the 48. Second and four. The defense in what looks to be a cover four. Pass upcoming and Newton is chased out of the pocket, completes the pass to Sony Michelle for the first down inside Falcon territory. Now from the 46. Newton takes a snap, play action fake and it goes long all the way to the end zone and it's caught. Touchdown Nelson Aguilar. Newton takes a chance all the way downfield. Kendall Sheffield is on the tight coverage, but he just doesn't time the jump correctly. And Eglar comes down in the end zone with the football. Touchdown, New England, and they take the early lead 7 to nothing. Matt Ryan all alone in the backfield. Uh-oh, he's in trouble, and he is sacked. Matthew Judon gets to him as he's trying to scramble and it just didn't work out. So second and 20, back to pass again is Ryan. Hit and fumbled the football, picked up by Jonah Jackson and taken out to just outside the 18 it looks like. So here it is, third and 18. Ryan back to pass, lets it fly, complete to Allison, and he only gets about half of it back, so fourth and nine, and the Falcons have to punt. Now from the 27, Cam back to pass, throws complete for a first down, out past the 35, completed to Aguilar, and now on first and 10. Sony Michelle takes it out to the right and is tackled over, just over the 40-yard line. And, uh-oh, Foye Aluakin is being escorted back to the locker room. And that could be big trouble for the Falcons if he's out for any length of time. The second down pass complete over the middle to Hunter Henry. The game temporarily halted for Tuiati Mariner, and he is on the sideline, not too happy with being injured. Newton hands off to Michelle, and he's out to 
the 39 yard line. Third and four now. Newton in the shotgun. Handles the snap, a quick throw to the 30. Markham at the 29 yard line. That was Nelson Aguilar. And a handoff to Michelle and he's inside the 25 for a seven yard pickup. Now second three at the 22. Hunter Henry goes in motion and Michelle is taken down in the backfield by Fabian Moreau coming off of a safety blitz. Now Newton back passes and it's incomplete intended for Henry again. And Richie Grant is the one that knocked it out of there. On comes Evan McPherson for a 40 yard field goal and it is up and good. Patriots take a 10 to nothing lead over the Falcons. From the 27 yard line, Love takes it out to the right and is finally tripped up after an eight yard gain. Second and two. Back to passes. Ryan and he completes it to Gage for the first down and out of bounds at the 40. Another pass. Ryan can't find anybody open and is dropped. Chase Winovich gets to him all the way back at the 26 yard line. So third and 24 out of the shotgun. Ryan throws and it's all. Oh. Oh, so close. Gage almost had a little bit of extracurricular activity between he and Jones on the tail end of that play. But the Patriots take over. And up the middle goes Michelle for a five-yard gain. Now out of the shotgun. Newton gives off to White. And White is taken down before he can get to the original line of scrimmage. And there's a block in the back called on Nikhil Harry. And that'll back the Patriots up. It's now second and 15 at the 30. Screen pass out to the right and out of bounds at the 39 yard line is James White. The shotgun again on third and six. Pass thrown high and intercepted by Kendall Sheffield. His third interception of the season. And if you look at the replay, Newton throws this well high, not even close for Nelson Aguilar. And he had to play the defender on that just not in time to stop it from being picked off. That's the end of the first quarter. And on second and seven, Ryan throws complete to Ridley and out of bounds. And Ezra Cleveland is down for the Falcons and on the sideline. And I'm sure he's going to be okay. Pitch out, goes to Hawkins on the right side and can't get even close to the line of scrimmage. A four yard loss headed up by Stefan Gilmore. Ryan passes complete to Ridley for the first down at the 20 yard line. The Falcons are now in the red zone and out of the shotgun. Ryan back to pass, throws complete. Kyle Pitts underneath the coverage and he gets to the 12 yard line. So now on second and three, the give is to Love and he has the first down. Moore crosses the plane of the end zone but there's a flag and this is coming back folks. Andy Isabella with a push in the back and now from the 13. 
Puka Williams takes it for a first down to the eight yard line. Now on third and goal, back to pass. Ryan unloads it and it's caught by Geronimo Allison inside the five, but that is going to bring out the field goal team and Koo from the nine. 19 yard field goal and it's up and good. The Falcons are on the board, 10 to three Patriots. Now, Newton completes this one. First down, out past the 40 yard line to Jacoby Myers, the third year undrafted wide receiver that's making a very good backup for the Patriots. Now on second and four, Newton under center. And has this one off to Michelle. He gets the first down inside Falcon territory at the 46. The Falcons now in a single high look. White takes the handoff. It spins this way all the way inside the 40-yard line for a six-yard gain. Now second and four and out of the shotgun. Newton calling for a little bit of motion and completes his pass to White for the first down just outside the 35. The Patriots now in scoring position. Newton is back and he is hit. The ball is picked up by Justin Matabike and he is running down the left side numbers. Sony Michelle, yes, he gets them at the one yard line. But it's first and goal, Falcons, and bigger question is who caused that fumble, and it is Marquise Blair. Back up free safety, and it was just picked up out of free agency. And Ryan passes to a wide open Kyle Pitts and it's touchdown Falcons. It kind of looked to me like the Patriots sold out to the run and Pitts was all alone on the right side into the end zone without being touched. That makes this a tie ball game at 10 apiece. And after a Patriot three and out, the Falcons have the ball again and in very good field position. A leaping catch by first down at the 35. I'm gonna mark him at the 33. Wow, a nice spot. And Ridley again with an eight yard reception. That right side getting a workout right now. Ryan under center. And back to pass, throws complete to Gage. Uh, just inside the 19. And another red zone visit for the Falcons. Ryan all alone. And Isabella over the middle for a nine yard pickup inside the 10 now. Second in inches. Another pass. And Love just barely picks up the first down inside the nine. And now inside the two minute warning. Ryan back to pass. Scrambles out of the pocket to the right and all the way into the end zone. Slides down like he was headed into home plate. And with that score, the Falcons take the lead in this football game. There you see Ryan on the replay sliding into the end zone. Not sure he was going to learn how to do that because for the first few games of the season, he wasn't sliding. After another Patriot three and out from their own 25, Ryan back to pass, completes it to Pitts out at the 39. And that is a first down out of the shotgun this time. Another pass. No, he is scrambling and finally unloading it. Making the grab on the left side is Love, and he is all the way out 
to the 48 for a nine yard pickup. And a pass again over the middle, complete love. A first down and a timeout. 23 seconds left. The shotgun, the pass over the middle and it's to Pitts. Doesn't get the first down, so they take a timeout. And from the 45, this makes it a 55 yarder and off to the right. It's no good and that takes us into halftime with your score 17 to 10 Falcons. Now for a halftime report, let's go to Eurocat Baby. Welcome to the Toyota Halftime Report. We'll get you back to the Falcons and Patriots in a moment. First, we have an update on the Foyer Aluican injury. Unfortunately, he suffered some broken ribs and may be out for four to five weeks recuperating. I'm sure that the middle of the field will be a touch vulnerable now that he won't be there. But subbing in for him will be Raekwon McMillan. He's been wanting a shot at starting for a while now, and it seems that he'll get his chance. Coach Gill has made another personnel decision that some may question a little, but strong safety TJ Green has been released, and taking his place on the roster is free safety Marquise Blair. Atlanta was looking for a little more run support from the DBs on downs that called for it, and it's the understanding that he may be the one to give them that boost. His name has already been called out here in the first half for a forced fumble, so the staff may be right on this one. Meanwhile, here in Atlanta, what looked like a fast start for the Pats turned into the Falcons being up by a touchdown over the Patriots as Atlanta has scored 17 unanswered. Will Cam Newton be able to turn this game around? New England has already turned the ball over twice. Can they overcome those mistakes in the second half? Stay tuned to find out because we'll be right back. Welcome back to Mercedes-Benz Stadium and second half coverage of our game between the Patriots and the Falcons. Although the Patriots have a better per play average than do the Falcons, Atlanta has held New England to just 10 points on the scoreboard. Have the Pats made the right adjustments in order to orchestrate a comeback here in the second half? Let's find out. The Falcons with the first possession of the second half from the 26. Give is to Love and he has a huge hole and he is down and injured. Hopefully he's going to be okay because he has been an integral part of the running game for Atlanta. Puka Williams picking up five yards on that last play. And now out of the shotgun, Ryan finds Russell Gage over the 45 yard line inside plus territory yet again. The Patriots showing a single high look. And uh, Ryan throws over the middle to Hurst. A seven yard pickup on the play. Now under center. Ryan takes the ball back, throws complete again inside the 30 to Gage. And that's another first down for the Falcons. Ryan throws complete, and ooh, Dante Hightower with the big hit on Calvin Ridley, and he hangs on to the ball for the first down. Now third and five. Ryan scrambles out to the left, and he is tackled by Judon for a three-yard sack. And that brings on Youngway Koo for a 31-yard field goal, and it's up and good. And the Falcons have doubled the score on these Patriots. There you see the numbers on Newton, 9 of 14 for 126 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. 
Um, they are throw, not throwing the ball near as much as they're trying to run it. And Michelle up the middle there for a nice gain. And on third and one, Michelle up the middle again, and he has the first down. Out past the 40-yard line, tackled at the 43. Five minutes left to go in the third quarter. Henry doesn't go out of bounds, and he gets a lot of yardage. Finally pushed out of bounds at the 45 of the Falcons. White jukes his way to another first down. Now on second and 10. Newton breaks away, has lots of yardage inside the 15 yard line and a red zone visit for the Patriots. Now from just outside the 12 yard line, Newton takes the snap, throws to Smith and he is down to the six yard line. Second and three. Now this time out of the shotgun. And back to pass again. Flushed out of the pocket. Throws complete. Touchdown, Janu Smith. One thing can be said is that uh, obviously Newton is having a, a tougher time this season. But get him out of the pocket and he is dangerous. Whether he finds somebody downfield or can make the play with his legs, he can play and just get it done. So after a Falcon three and out, it's Patriot ball again, complete over the middle to White, and he's close to another first down. And with that play, it brings us to the fourth quarter. Out of the shotgun, Newton gives off to White. And he makes it to the 35-yard line and a first down for the Patriots. Alone in the backfield, Newton standing tall, throws, delivers to Hunter Henry out over the 50-yard line and inside Falcon territory. On second and 10, the throw goes to Aguilar inside the 45. And that is a six-yard pickup. Third and four. Newton is chased down and sacked. Justin Matabiki gets him, and out will come the punt team. From the 28-yard line, the Falcons send Love up the middle, and he gets almost to the 35 from the 34 now. It's given to Puka Williams and he gets the first down. Now on third and seven. Motion. Ryan alone in the backfield. And the throw to Pitts. And it doesn't look like he's able to get the first down and no, he does not. The Falcons hold and here they are with the ball again. Just outside the 30 yard line. The ball given to Love has lots of room and spun down out at the 41. But a first down nonetheless. Now on second and 12. Ball given to Williams. He's outside the numbers on the left and stopped for a four yard gain. Now on third and six. Ryan alone in the backfield again. The Patriots in a cover two look. The pass over the middle short and a first down by Kyle Pitts. Now from the 43 yard line, third and seven and down goes Ryan. Lawrence Guy with the sack. And that brings up a fourth and 13 and a punting situation. Now Newton and company have to do something from deep in their own territory. From the five, the pass complete to Smith for a first down up past the 15. 
17 yard line. Out of the shotgun, Newton throws complete. Henry takes it to the 23. That will take us to the two minute warning with your score 20 to 17. The Falcons on top in this one. Newton out of the shotgun. Stands tall in the pocket, throws complete to Hunter Henry, but shy of the first down, third and two, and over the middle, complete. Nikhil Harry, but there's a flag on the play, and it's roughing the passer. And who is this gonna be on? Barkevius Mingo. That gives the Patriots a fresh set of downs inside Falcon territory. Newton back to pass, can't find anybody open, throws out of bounds, and oh my goodness. Another roughing the passer against Barkevius Mingo. He's just a little too amped and he could end up costing the Falcons of this football game. Newton back to pass and throws to Janu Smith short inside the 30 yard line at the 28. Second and four. Newton on the go again and he throws it away. Now on third and four of the shotgun. A little motion. And his throw is complete and a first down made by Smith. The Patriots now deep in Falcon territory. Newton throws into the end zone and it's intercepted. Richie Grant with the grab and that by all rights should in the football game the Falcons will have less than a minute to burn off the clock but I'm thinking that they should be able to do it the only problem is is that the, the Patriots have all of their timeouts left and Love takes it up the middle timeout just a four yard gain by Love and the idea is to make sure that New England takes their timeouts. And Hawkins up the middle. And now it's third and one. The ball is given to Williams. And he gets the first down and that should do it. The Falcons in the victory formation. And that will do it for this football game. The Falcons win 20 to 17 after a 20 point unanswered run. So another win for the Falcons in the strangest turnaround that I've seen in recent years. The Patriots are a good team that happens to be struggling this season, but the Falcons are finding some internal mojo that's allowing them to play some outstanding football. Atlanta has a much harder stretch of games coming up and it'll be really interesting to see how this team performs. All I know is that if they keep winning, they'll have to think about trading up if they plan on getting a new quarterback. Matt Ryan has done this team a lot of good over the years, but he's getting up there to where he could be a candidate for retirement within the next season or two. If that happens, the Falcons would be without a true starting talent leading this offense. The offense as a whole is not what I would call a high-powered offense, but Ryan isn't doing a particularly bad job of leading this offense right now. So it'll be interesting to see what he does going forward. Is he the quarterback to take them to another Super Bowl? I don't know about that, but all I know is that Atlanta signed a contract with him that will pay out some pretty hefty dollars in his final two seasons with the team. 
He needs much more help around him if a title run is in the near future, but Coach Gill has made some very significant moves, especially in the O-line. The defense put up a good battle today as the backup middle linebacker Raekwon McMillan, although only playing a partial game, came in second place for most tackles behind another backup, Fabian Moreau. The acquisition of Marquise Blair seemed to work out well since he not only had a sack, but a forced fumble as well. He does have some decent speed and better coverage skills than the other safeties, so time will tell if the younger talent will work out. He'll get another chance as the next challenge for the Falcons will be another road trip, but this time to Jacksonville to take on the Jaguars. Trevor Lawrence in his debut season in the NFL is racking up the yards through the air, but when it comes to running the ball, he seems to have a problem holding on to it. Flushing him out of the pocket could be a two-edged sword since that's where he can be more of a danger. The defense, especially the pass defense, is one of the better ones in the league, so Ryan is really going to need to be careful hurling the ball into that. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of the Atlanta Falcons franchise on the MMC Broadcasting Network. Atlanta played some solid football given the short week to prepare. Dominating was the play of the defense coming up with two interceptions and a forced fumble in recovery. And can they put in another performance like tonight when they face the Jaguars next week. The offense was adequate to get the job done tonight, but they'll be facing a much stronger pass defense in Jacksonville. Will the rushing attack be up to the challenge, or will Ryan and company need to find a way to get the ball downfield on the number eight passing defense in the league? Be with us next week to find out, and until then, for Eurocat Baby and the rest of the crew, this is Husker Eurocat saying so long for now, and have a good day, everyone. <laughs>